sure if this is exactly the same thing that I saw the other day. But I'm at Marlowe's, uh, Marlowe Sands Beach, or Beach Sand, I can't remember what it's, yeah, it's a beach. <laughs> um, and it was literally a five minute drive from um, Martin's Haven. So uh, that, was, that was lucky. And uh, yeah, some of the photos look fantastic. So I'm just gonna get comfortable, I think. Still got a few hours before sunset. Sec. Sorry if it's wobbly. Yeah, it's t 10 past five. Probably gonna get there in about 10 minutes. But I'll just walk up and down the beach, find my composition. So I've arrived. It was a very short walk. Um, this is cool. Uh, Right now, if it was high tide, I would be underwater. But a low tide, it's all about there. Very cool. I love the jagged rocks. I want to do something with the jagged rocks. Uh, they're, in, they're just in the distance over there. Well, I want to. I'm going to have a look around, but they stand out to me right now. Uh, for anyone who hasn't seen my other video, welcome to Pembrokeshire. My other video was more of a uh, bird searching expedition on the on uh, Skoma Island, and this is more of a landscape-based trip or expedition. Same trip. Um, I'm down the road from there. I'm currently on Marlow's Sands Beach, and I am just. Jumping over rocks. All the algae on the rocks down here is very, very interesting. I don't. The problem is, I see everything through these sunglasses, and these sunglasses just seem to enhance all colours. So the greens look ridiculously green, but when I go like this, they just look like normal green. Um, which is why sometimes when I'm ed editing my pictures, I remember how I was looking at it through my sunglasses. So they sometimes are a little bit warmer than they should be to, uh, you know, try to replicate that image that I could see through these things. I thought the further you go the less people or, yeah the fewer people have been here already so the sand is less tarnished with footprints and stuff um, kind of struggling for a composition though it's cool it's, it's all really cool but just because it looks cool to your eye doesn't mean it's gonna make a nice photo you know climbed through some rocks and I found an untouched beach. It's amazing. Look at this. I want to stay here. I'm going to find something here. And it'll be awesome. I'm going to walk around the perimeter though because I don't want my footprints to ruin the picture. <laughs> oh dear. A few moments later. I'm in the frame. Meh. So, I'm actually going for a very simple composition. It's just going to be a selection of boulders. Uh, the front one is in this um, massive puddle and the water is moving. Um, it is windy, but you know, it doesn't matter really. Um, I think the movement's going to add to it. And it will be surrounded by, you know, a few randomly place boulders but I think it'll look really nice um, it's gonna obviously be a long exposure because explosion exposure I'll, I'll do a standard one 
but also I'm going to do a long one because uh, I want to get the waves in the background just like buttery smooth, you know. It'll be good. And then I think you might actually get some of that cliff in the background too. So let's get started. Camera's all set. I've got my final um, composition that I want. So what I'm doing now, every five, 10 minutes or so, I'm just taking another shot. Um, it has polarizer on it and 10 stop ND and that's it. Um, I'm at about 13 millimeters. So what's that? Times 1.6, uh, 1.5 would be like 20 mil. So, yeah, it's about 20, 21 millimeter equivalent of or full frame equivalent. I'm at F11. At the moment, my exposures are about eight seconds. But yeah, I'm happy with the shot. I'm probably gonna go for a four by eight or a one by one crop, um, just from looking at the images at the moment. Another thing, we're past the lowest tide. We've gone past that by, oh, not too long, half an hour. So from now on, the water's only gonna be getting closer. Um, so it might get to the point where I actually have to leave um, before sunset. I don't know what time, you know, the tide's gonna get to here, for example. Uh, I know sunset is gonna be, well, golden hour is gonna be around, half eight um, so hopefully it will hold out until then but if not it's no big deal um, I think I think I've already got some cool shots it's just you know ideal light and all of that but yeah I'm, that's why I'm taking them as I go taking multiples um, just in case something like that happens I'm gonna just listen to some music and lie down water it's definitely creeping back um, there was a bit of seaweed uh, I don't know, 10 15 minutes ago it was totally untouched by water at the moment it is well it, it's not submerged but it's had a few waves so we're keeping an eye on it uh, still got about an hour and a half so yeah not sure not sure. There is an escape route though. Um, so let's say we get to golden hour and the water starting, you know, getting quite close and I get the shot that I want. I think I'll be able to get back from back here rather than where I came from, which is back there. So that's the escape route. I'll, I'll, I'll probably give it a test first without anything on my back and then go from there. 20 minutes later. Slight update. I've increased the exposure to 40 seconds now. The Instagram was looking a little bit dark. Let's see how this looks. I might be it might be too much. I've gone from 20 to 40 so oh just got a little bit of lens flare.
think I'm gonna have to start shielding. Five seconds to go. That's a tiny little speck, but it is, it's fine. Also, the sun's gonna go behind the thing, uh, behind the cliff soon anyway, so it's not that big a deal. Um, I'm not gonna be able to be here for very long. The tide is coming in fast. I've just checked the pictures, the differences between like the last 20 minutes and it's ridiculous. Um, and just as I'm saying this, the uh, waves have just gone into this puddle. So I've probably got about 10 minutes left here and then I've got to go. Uh, sucks, really sucks. Like the tide's still coming in, obviously, um, but it's kind of ruined the shot now. Um, it's just getting rid of too much of the interest. So I'm just gonna pack up now. Um, it's been a good, good day though. And I have actually got a couple of really cool images. So yeah, I'm gonna pack up now and head off. There it is. It's all covered. That was literally three minutes. No, okay. Let's say for me starting to pack up about five minutes. Oh well. Oh, I'll go through this now, so I'm gonna switch the camera off because this is a little bit treacherous. What do you know? There's still some people here. I think they're just getting ready to pack up as well, actually. So this was the part of the beach that everybody goes to. And I was lucky enough to have that whole side to myself. Ah, oh, it's been a lovely day. Lovely, lovely day.